Welcome to Saket Vision TV. Tonight, I have something very special. Tonight, we're going to talk about a sound healing technique that is administered and created by the House of Saket. The House of Saket is a Reiki and holistic healing center. Excuse me, I'm operating everything and I'm chatting just a second. Yes, so back to the subject at hand. Tonight, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of information <clears throat> about remedial sound technique. Sound heals, everything is energy and vibration. And so I am excited to share this with you all. So what's going to happen is I have to share my screen so that I can go through this short presentation just to give a small summary of some of the most exciting things and techniques that we are using at House of Sakat. Stay tuned, I'm going to share my screen and we'll get right to it. will have this protected shortly. This is my first internet presentation using this new platform that I just taught myself in like 10 minutes. But we know that all things are possible if you would only try. Okay, so remedial sound technique by Divine Gateway. Remedial First of all, it's just a synonym for the word healing. So it would be healing sound technique. As we all may have heard in today's high tech society about the power of sound on the healing circuit, Divine Gateway has formulated a technique using various sound wave frequencies coupled with Reiki, crystals, and meditative delivery. Healing of sound has been an ancient practice for over 50,000 years. Some would like to minimize that to six to 10,000, but I beg to differ. One of the first recordings would be the original pe Aboriginal peoples of Africa and those that migrated to other parts of the world. 
The African drum has been used by shamans and Native Americans since the beginning of their cultures. In today's scientific discoveries, we've been able to pinpoint which frequency points bring about certain techniques of physical change. Sound has been tested with water waves to reveal that the pattern of the water changes on a molecular level. With sound, water has been programmed with affirmations, sound, and sound frequencies that bring about positive change. A great modern scientist once said, if you want to find the secret to the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And that was by Nikola Tesla. If we accept that sound is vibration and we know that vibration touches every part of our physical being, then we understand that sound is heard not only through our ears, but through every cell in our bodies. And this was shared by integrative oncologist, Dr. Mitchell Gaynor. Organic observance proves to us that our bodies are super sensitive to sounds and any kind of noise that they factually influence our moods and behaviors. Any avid music listener can confirm that sounds play an important part in our emotional lives. Music can emanate feelings of joy, make us feel happy, relaxed, energized, or even facilitate healing. The question is, how does it work? Of all the manifestations of energy, sound has proven to be one of the most powerful. Sound energy is innately connected with human consciousness and the spiritual side of mankind. Sound is present at the heart of life itself. Our hearts have a natural sound and rhythm. Sound has been known to influence emotions and thoughts. Slowly but surely, remedial sound techniques are coming back into our remembrance as a society. Sound has the ability to change or alter the chi, the ki, or ka of a person. Chi and ki and ka are life force energies. Vibration is present with all matter in the universe. Matter cannot exist without sound. Sound can be visualized and is highly structured. The study of sound and vibration is called semantics. A cymoscope is a special tool that reveals the geometry of sound patterns. Studies in this field show that harmony exists at all levels in the universe and that a coherent relationship exists between the sound of a star, a single cell, a human heartbeat, and the harmonious sounds from a musical instrument. Visual geometry of these sounds reveals that many of them contain identical ratios, notably pi, often referred to as the golden ratio, 1 to 1.618 continuum, or divine proportion. In nature, things that, that are not assembled in a randomly or chaotic way, one of the easiest mediums to view sound effects on matter is by using water. Sound is measured in hertz or cycles per second. For example, let's look at this fire diagram. Here we can see the pattern of sound at 440 hertz. It even emanates a color which is blue. And in the world of Reiki, blue would be your third eye chakra. This is the frequency of sound at 446 hertz, which is the color of red, which equates to the root or base chakra. 440 hertz, combined with 446 hertz together changes the wave pattern completely and it also vibrates us another color which is purple purple 
would be your seventh chakra, your crown, your pineal gland chakra. So as we can see, sound frequencies has the ability to activate and change your chakra balance. Okay, we're going to come to that later on when we talk about sound and Reiki. Two waves of different frequencies, red and blue signals, added to create a third signal. This new signal contains a six hertz beat, six cycle per second. The red and blue signals and also show behind the new signal, which would be here. Okay, so this is an example of the effect of sound on frequency and our bodies. Charmed by vibrations of sound of vowels, the ancient Egyptians demonstrated their acoustic power. They used these sound generated vibrations with healing abilities, a process called toning, which alters the vowel sound using exhalation and speech to resonate therapeutic sound as noted by musicologist Laura Elizabeth Keyes in her book, Toning, the Creative Power of Voice. Toning being an ancient method of healing, the goal is to simply restore people to their harmonic patterns. Okay, so, Hello. Yes, so thank you for our for joining me with this short presentation. What I want to say is that in my personal practices, sound has really helped me advance in my meditations, especially. Not only that, but it has also helped enhance my Reiki sessions too. Zoom, okay? Coupled with crystals, coupled with metals, such as copper, silver, and or gold, you can amplify any vibrational energetic healing session, okay? I'm going to be back to talk more in depth about this, but I am very excited to share this with you and this is going to be a continual journey because there is so much to share about the world of energy healing, Reiki, and sound vibrations. The House of Serket is very excited about moving forward with our healing techniques. Um, we know that we have something to offer to society, and we are going to do just that. Also, at the House of Serket, um, on Wednesday nights, we have a podcast called Oddcast 99, which goes way deeper into occult knowledge and studies. And... Um, my co-host on that show is none other than Rance Gunmar, Chakra Doctor. And he has also developed a wonderful technique, um, full chakra activation, okay? So we have so many tools to offer and um, the House of Saket is going to be back a lot more often, hopefully daily as much as we possibly can, especially during the quarantine. So um, we're going to take every opportunity to move ourselves to the next level and elevate through meditation and healing practices that we know work. Good evening from the House of Serket. Everyone, 
peace, love, and light. Uncle Johnson Mag. And um, that's it. Peace, sis. I will be getting with you very shortly. But tonight I'm going to end here and um, hopefully come back tomorrow. I have some very exciting information about the use of colloidal copper. This is going to be a mind-blowing presentation, and I got to go get started on my PowerPoint. So peace and love until tomorrow.